Mama Francoise is back and that means we're going to be cooking something a little French. French dessert today, Ma. Definitely. What are you Can't beat your French caramel. Mm. But with a twist, we're going to do it with chocolate. I've actually never tried your chocolate creme caramel, always your classic creme caramel. So I'm yep. looking forward to this. What do we do first? Alors first, I will ask you to uh, put the milk in your pan. Yep. We're going to bring it to the boil and then I will um, ask you also to give me half of a vanilla pod okay. with the seed out and you put the whole thing in the milk. Okay, so vanilla pod. You like to use some beautiful vanilla for yes, this. Yes, yes. And only, these... half, only half because we've got the chocolate flavour. We don't want to do okay. overdo the, the flavour. So I am going to prepare the chocolate. Okay, and you like to use dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, the best. Yeah, and some like, what is that, about 70%? So about, about, yeah. 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 So you've got almost like a sweetness there, but slightly bitter, uh, which is quite nice. Very nice, indeed. Okay, so vanilla goes in, and you can't have creme caramel without the, the caramel. caramel. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to so add... Get, get going with the caramel. Yep. You put the sugar in the pan. Okay, sure. I usually you use a bit of water, of water just to uh, help it. Yeah, because you, you don't have to use water if you don't want to, no. but for safety and just to make sure that you can control that caramel, it's best just to put a bit of water in it yeah. and just let that melt. And I want it gold, not too dark, so you keep an eye on it. Pressure's on. So far, no. so good. Pretty simple. Now my job? Yep. I'm going to beat the eggs mm -hmm. with the sugar. So I'm going to use two whole eggs. Okay. Yep. So two One. whole eggs and then some yolks. That's right. So why do you use whole eggs and then yolks? Mixture oh, both. Just not to make it too rich. That's, that's you know, always have a couple mm. of yolks there. Mm -hmm. So mm. So now you're going to separate those. And creme caramel, some people out there, Ma, yeah. like to put cream in their creme caramel. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Absolutely not. Uh, no cream. <laughs> no cream. Just, just, me. just, just milk. Just milk, yes. Just milk. If you put cream, usually you put cream and milk if you're making a creme, a creme brulee, brulee, which yes. is richer. This is all about having that gorgeous custard that's not too rich, but that bitterness that you get from the caramel and, of course, the chocolate. OK, so is this, that's bubbling nicely now, so yep. you can add the chocolate, just chop it a little bit more. OK, and I've turned the heat off. That's right. So, so. that all, all's going to be infusing, all the, the flavour will be infusing. That's beautiful. Ooh, yeah. It smells so good. I love that chocolate yeah. and the vanilla yeah. smell. So while you do that, yep. I am going to go on with my custard. OK. So I beat the, the eggs. Yep. Sugar. And the sugar. And then look at this. This is like instant hot chocolate. Mmm, smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. And it melts straight away. And how your eggs are going yeah, over that's, there. That's huh? fine. It's blend nicely. I guess you don't have to beat it a no. lot because you don't want all that foam on the top because then you've got to remove it. So you, you just... have to remove it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and look at that. Are you happy with that? Perfect. And don't forget, when you take it off the heat, it's going to continue to go golden. Yes, that's why you have to be very careful with this. OK. OK, so this is... That's done enough. It's mm -hmm. good. Uh, what we do is we're going to strain the milk into the custard okay. in one go and then I'll beat that. So in that, we're just trying to get any of those milk solids there or any chunks of... And the vanilla pods have yeah. to stay there as well. That looks good. Okay. Mmm. Smells so good. Yeah. Okay, so that's nice and ready. I'm going to just scoop out the foam so it's not burning when it cooks. Ah, I see, I see. Just a little bit like that. Just on the top there. Yeah. Yep. And then the caramel. Well, look at that gorgeous colour. So if you can pour that into the ramequin, that would be mm -hmm. great. So we're using some beautiful little ramekins here, but if you want, I know when we're serving this with the family, a classic creme caramel, one you dish. would, yeah, you can do one dish of this. So either or. But if you're going to use a bigger one, you definitely need to cook it a little longer mm. than the time that we specify. <gasps> mm, mm. Caramel. It's lovely. It's, it's, the colour is absolutely lovely, yeah? So beautiful. OK. okay. Right, ready to go. So you just pour that over it. That caramel automatically sets and then it will go runny after it cooks and cools down. So after Mum fills these up perfectly, we're going to add a little water 
to the dish so it's like a bain marie. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it cooks nice and evenly, right, yes, Mom? That's great. And how long are we going to cook them in the oven for? About 35 minutes. Yeah. Uh, just stick a knife uh, after 35 minutes mm. to see if it's cooked. Normally, it should be cooked. Otherwise, just add a couple of minutes or okay. until it's cooked. And you don't want that oven to be too hot, so 170 No, 170, is yeah. Just perfect. Okay, our chocolate creme caramels have come out of the oven. We have allowed them to cool on the bench top, remove the water, and then you want to be patient and pop them in the fridge until they're completely chilled, right? right? Yeah. Even okay. over overnight is the best. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I'm going to leave this next bit up to you because you're good at flipping <laughs> these. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> anyway, so with a little pointy now, I'm going to gently detach the edge. Yep. You want a sharp knife for this, yeah. just so or it Or even gets... a flexible one, yep. even better. But I think that should be fine. Mm -hmm. And then... I'm going to take my plate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. So I give it a little shake. Yep. Oh, oh, I heard it. <laughs> That's what we want to hear, the suction. <gasps> da, 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 da. Oh, well, that looks fantastic. So we only put a little bit of caramel in there and you can see how much you get out of it. And I just love how it just cascades on the sides and drizzles everywhere. Gee, Ma, this could be one of your finest creme caramels ever. <laughs> And voila! We've got to have a taste of this one. One for you, mm. one oh for God. me. And I like the bit that has loads of caramel. Oh, look at that. Silky smooth. And that's the trick to a good creme caramel, right? You need it to be smooth, silky, mm. not overcooked. Oh, that is divine. It's that perfect balance of smooth creme caramel, chocolate. Just to, It's not overpowering no, at all. Not at all. And that bittersweet caramel. Ma? That's your best. I'm saying that. Really? And I'm not lying. I'm saying that one is really your best creme caramel ever. Thank you. Merci.